Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a simple drag and drop operation in WPF. Um, I've just got a simple WPF application here. It's got five rectangles on it. The big black one in the center is called the rectangle target and that is the thing that we're going to drop stuff onto. So one main property about that rectangle in the center is you have to have is allow drop property set to true so it's either this property box here or in the XAML code type this in and I've got four other rectangles which are smaller and which all have a fill property set to them and these are obviously of different colors and stuff and there's really nothing else that's special about them and before I go any further, I want to show you in my code, I've created a generic mouse click event handler. So it's got an object sender and a mouse event arcse. So we're going to hook that event handler up to these four little rectangles. So we're going to go select the red one, go into events, then we're going to look for the mouse left button down event handler and there it is we're gonna select that one now you can also add event handlers in the XAML code for example when I did this you'll notice that this bit of code got added to my XAML now we can we can just type that in to create the event handler or we'll hook up the event handler and that's the wrong event we want it to be mouse left button down not preview so we're going to go mouse left button down and we're going to set it to that um, method just copy and paste that onto the other two rectangles and we've hooked the hooked that event handler up to the four little rectangles. Now we want to worry about one other event handler which is the drop event for this big rectangle in the, in the center. So we're going to go up to drop, I mean click the rectangle in the, in the center, then go up to dro a drop, then double click on it. So we've got our two event handlers, the mouse left button down and target drop event handlers. Um, we're going to start off with the rectangle mouse left button down so we're gonna go first we're gonna get a reference to the rectangle we're working with so I'm gonna go rectangle oops rectangle R equals to sender as rectangle now an easier way of doing this is just to cast sender into the rectangle so I'm going to do that instead this in my opinion it's much neater so in the second um, line we're going to create the data object that's going to get passed onto our drop target so we're going to go data object I'm just going to call it data obj is equal to new data object now we're going to fill in some of these properties well we'll just fill in one because that's the important one we're going to go r dot fill so if you haven't guessed already we're going to pass the rectangle's color onto the target rectangle or target drop area and we're going to, in the next line we're going to type in drag drop dot do drag drop the depends, dependency object drag source is going to be R. The da data object is going to be data obj. Ob 
and the drag and drop effects is just an enumeration from drag drop effects dot one of something of your choice. In my case, it's just going to be move. Now, before we write the event um, handler for target drop, we're going to put a breakpoint right here so we know the type, the data type of rectangle fill. There are, of course, other ways of finding this out, but I found this pretty easy to do when you're coding. So, just run it and try to do a drag and drop. And Visual Studio should stop at that breakpoint. So, we're going to hover over our, da our data object. And we're just going to go, um, go into the first item in the list a lot of times until we find what type the data is. In this case it is a system.windows.solidcolor brush. So that's what we needed to know. We're going to stop the debugging and remove that breakpoint. So in our target drop we're going to create a solid color brush and it's going to be cast as a solid color brush from e or if drag and drop event arguments dot data dot get data and it's going to be the type of solid color brush oops oops I forgot to name this something, we'll just call it SCB and now we're gonna set the rectangle targets drop um, color to um, the solid color brush so we're gonna go target dot fill equal to SCB Now when we run this, we should be able to drag on those little rectangles into the middle, middle one and the middle one should change the color accordingly. So here we go. So that is one of the most simplest forms of drag and drop in WPF. You can obviously go into this further and you have to do a lot of error handling if you do it this way. There are more complicated ways and I suggest you look into them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.